It is great, uh, again, to be here with all of you tonight, and it is certainly a great honor for me to be making this address as I proudly begin my second term as mayor. Uh, thank you to the residents for giving me this enormous opportunity to continue to serve Chanhassen. A special thank you to my family, my parents who are here tonight, my in-laws who regularly watch online as they sit in warm and sunny Florida, and of course to the very best, my husband and my lovely daughters, Molly and Allie, uh, who have been by my side throughout this journey, offering unwavering support and encouragement. Thank you for keeping me balanced during those very stressful times that we all know and always finding a way to make me laugh. I love you all so much. To my fellow council members, Mark and Jerry, congratulations on your election and re-election and Haley to be, as you begin your third year as a council member. I look forward to working with all of you and learning from you as we face many opportunities along with the inevitable challenges in the years to come. I value the dialogue that we will have, uh, the ideas you bring forward and the questions that you ask as it makes us a better council and ultimately serves our residents and businesses by making the best out of us. To Ms. Hokanen and all of city staff, first, thank you for your commitment to Chanhassen. Please know that I am continuing to support the needs of our staff as we grow as a team and a community. The work that you do every day is what our residents see, give feedback on, and is why we are continually recognized as one of the top places to live. Four years ago, when I took office, I laid out what I recalled my guiding principles, and they were known as the five C's. Community, communication, collaboration, commitment to excellence, and Chanhassen. It helped shape the goals I had hoped to accomplish as a council and what we all work together to achieve. This collective effort brought about some very notable accomplishments. Community, bringing people together is what we do best with record setting numbers at our events like the 4th of July. And we continue to work hard adding offerings and improve on our beloved community events. Used a portion of our ARPA funds to begin the work of the highly desirable Lake Ann Park Preserve, enhancing one of our very premier parks in town. We hired an economic development manager, focusing on supporting our existing businesses, but also making connections, highlighting the opportunities in Chanhassen to grow and diversify our tax base. And with the growing demand on our firefighting, firefighters, adding three full-time fire captains moved us to a new level of service, providing 24 seven staffing at station one, allowing an engine to be en route to a call in two minutes. Service to community is at the core. Communication. I often heard from residents that they didn't feel connected or had a sense of what was happening with the city. With this in mind, as well as facing concerns over the pandemic, the message from the mayor was created and according to our resident survey is now one of the top resources for receiving information. Keeping our residents informed on city business was imperative. We also hired a communications manager and created a communications department, broadening our outreach and connection with our community. Additionally, we overhauled and launched a new city website, allowing easier navigation and access to city information. Collaboration. With tools like FlashVote, we are able to get a pulse from our residents on topics coming before the council, or the implementation of C-Click-Fix, allowing residents in real time to submit concerns, like a dangerous crack in the sidewalk they encounter throughout the city. We are actively collecting feedback from our residents to ensure that their needs are being met. We also implemented a community action, or a citizen action <coughs> request form encouraging residents to bring forward issues at our city council meetings. It provides an opportunity for residents to raise a concern, a request or idea, and be on the record, requiring follow-up and accountability from staff and council. And finally, we recreated a resident-based task force to help evaluate and shape the ideas for the needs and funding sources of future parks, trails, and facilities. Commitment to excellence. City Council and staff created the city's first ever strategic plan, outlining strategic priorities, our city's values and mission. It has created a framework from which we as a city operate, make decisions, encourage innovation to ensure project progress is being made yet aligned with our long-term planning. Additionally, and most notably, 
We hired a new city manager and we certainly got that right. Ms. Hokanen has been instrumental in accomplishing the long list of council goals and has created a work culture of team first, advocating on behalf of staff to make this the best city to work. She is a leader amongst her colleagues and brings innovation to the forefront. And finally, Chan Hassan. With thanks to everybody at the city and in our community, Chan Hassan was named the number one best place to live in America by Money Magazine. It was great recognition of the years of hard work performed by many members of our city staff and councils. With the unexpected challenges along the way these past four years, COVID being the most prominent, what we achieve together brings me much pride as well as optimism as we look to the next four with this city council and city staff. With 26,000 residents, Chan Hassan will continue to evolve as a community, and we must recognize that with it comes change. Yes, another C word. We have been recognized as a great place to live and work. We have two of the state's premier school districts in our city, an incredible parks system and expansive trail network, a business community looking to expand their existing business presence, and entrepreneurs bringing new businesses to town. It is clear that people want to be here and developers want to invest here. This presents Chan Hassan with great opportunity, but with that comes great responsibility to get it right. Two of the most significant projects the city will be engaged with is the Avienda development and the development of a civic campus in our downtown. Two projects, two different locations, both having monumental and lasting impact to our city and the Southwest region as a whole. Avienda is the largest development the city has seen in many decades. This 120 acre development that includes retail, a variety of housing, restaurants, grocery, and the potential of a large recreational facility will bring new attention and connectedness to Chan Hassan and surrounding communities. While the housing is underway, part of the plan includes pursuing a public-private partnership for a community-based recreation facility bringing two to three sheets of ice, an indoor walking track, fitness, turf, and meeting spaces to Chanhassen. This development will be front and center as we work with the legislature, private businesses, community groups, commissions, and of course, our residents. The second notable project will be a downtown civic campus. After completing a facility study in 2022, it became clear our city hall needed significant attention. Recognizing the need to bring a complete solution as well as energy and investment into our downtown, we began exploring ideas for a civic campus with a new city hall and expanding community gathering spaces. Design feedback and community outreach will be paramount as we embark on planning the future of Chanhassen's downtown. Avienda and the Civic Campus are priorities, but the everyday work of delivering the best in city services, attention to the impact of infill development, infrastructure investment, policy making, financial sustainability in a challenging economic environment, transportation needs with our aging community, commission seats, and appointing a new city council member will continue to be the business of city council. But without question, serving our residents will always come first. With the multitude of projects, the growth and change we experience over the next four years is inevitable, but the one constant will be that the residents of Chanhassen will be involved and informed as engagement will play a critical role in all business that comes before the city. Let me repeat that. Resident engagement will play a critical role in all business that comes before the city. It was my commitment to you four years ago, and it remains my commitment and true to you today. Our residents, this community is at the center of our decision making. And as everyone sitting up here knows, it is why we do this. We love our community and we are so proud to be able to play a role in it. Thank you again to our residents for allowing me this privilege to serve. The connections that I have made with the community have been overwhelmingly gratifying, and I look forward to the next four years of working with you. Thank you. Thank you.